So if you want to learn how to vectorize and color a black and white image, only thing you have to do is pull up your favorite browser and type in svgconverter.app and you will be met with this screen here. Now, only thing we have to do is open up an image. Top left hand corner, let's drag an image in real quick. Okay, that's a decent little little image, little, I guess, fluffy guy with an umbrella there. Okay, so only thing we have to do now is vectorize. Before we do that, I do have a video down in the box that shows you how to use this user interface. However, for the folks that missed it, let's just go over real quick. So this is your upload button, and then you have a single column. And so when you have two pictures, it'll go back and forth between these pictures here. Then you have fit to original, and that's useful for if you're zoomed out right here, like so. You just click on this button, and it brings you back to your landing spot. And here's your edit image button, and this is the place we're going to be focusing today. Details here, like I said in the last video or one of my other videos, I usually use between medium and high. Background transparency, we have a color here. Grayscale, black and white, edges. I usually use from edges to white lines. I leave them as is. And here's your file format, SVG, uh, PDF, EPS, and Adobe Illustrator here. So this is the basic layout of the user interface here. Now, the only thing we have to do is let's click on vectorize down here at the bottom right, right above the download button. All right, sweet. So let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay. You can tell the difference there. It's a world of difference crispy lines on the right hand side and more blocky or pixelated on the left. So there's a few reasons why people use SVG files or a vector image altogether. Um, some of the reasons are portability, if you will, say, for instance, you can bounce between different programs. You can also use the vector file in between different programs as well. It's a lighter footprint. However, I would say one of the most um, important reasons why uh, people use vectors is because of scalability. So you can you could make it as small as you want to or as big as you want to, and it will never lose quality. See? On this side on the left, the more we zoom in, the more pixelated or blocky it becomes, and it doesn't lose a strand of sharpness on the right hand side. OK, so now that we have this vectorized, now what we can do is let's add some color here. So we'll go on up to on the left hand side, the edit image. Let's click on that like so. Now let's run through this real quick. So we have just like in the other um, section, the fit to original, your edit image button. And this is the image revision. So you can see what you've been working on. And then we have swap images here. So let's zoom in. So this is the original. And if we swap this, it takes us to our newly created vector file. We have our pan canvas tool. So you can move this around like so. We have our color fill, which we'll be using in a minute. We have edit pixels, our pick color or color picker. And we have a custom picker here. Okay, let's set this back to the start there and let's just start adding some color now the first thing I always say is figure out what you're going to do and then move forward so I want him to be probably maybe gray and this kind of being like a reddish pink and uh, maybe kind of a tannish uh, toes and foot and eyes and fingers okay so let's see what we can do so let's go up here and pick a color I want to say maybe a gray. Pull it up a little bit. Grayish tint to it. Okay, now let's head on over here to our color fill. Click on that. And when you see the paint bucket tool, you know that you can color. Paint that like so. Zoom in and get all of the little areas here.
All right, and see right here on this section, let's just say if you missed a spot, the only thing you'd have to do, head on up to your pick color or color picker. Let's click on this to automatically select it over here for you. And now just grab the color fill. Make sure the paint bucket tool is selected and click right there. We'll do the same thing in this area here. Grab our color picker, choose this gray, go back to the color fill or the paint bucket. Fill these all around. All right, set this back to the start and that is it now the only thing we have to do that looks good there so let's hit save we want to save now if you pay attention here we haven't really done anything so what we'll need to do now is head on over here to use segmented image let's toggle that off real quick and now let's um, make sure that color is selected and color is selected toggle this back on and now let's hit vectorize there you have it looks good now the last step of course is to download this and upload it wherever you want to place it on a t-shirt post it on instagram or whatever you like and that is it so there you have it a quick and easy way to vectorize and color a black and white image for free absolutely so Anything you need to know is always down in the box. And like always, until next time, I will see you in the next video.